Hello, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you in detail how the needle threader works, and hopefully this will help you thread the needle easier. Before we can go into the details, we have to make sure we are on the same page, as in our machine has the same setting. There are two things we need to check. First, raise the presser foot. This is the presser foot. This is the presser foot lever, which allows us to raise and bring down the presser foot. When the presser foot is down, like so, you cannot pull on the thread. I mean, you can force it, but you're gonna break something. When the presser foot is raised, you can pull on the thread. This will allow us to work with the thread. To raise the presser foot, pull on the presser foot lever like so. Second, line up the mark on the hand wheel to the machine. This turning knot is called hand wheel. It moves the needle in this metal part. As I turn the hand wheel, see how these two parts are moving? Line up the mark on the hand wheel to the machine. Okay, now we are on the same page for our needle threader explanation. I'm going to show you two overviews. The first overview does not have a thread. The second overview has a thread. Then I will show you close-ups of the mechanics behind this needle threader and common problems. First overview. Press down on the needle threader lever, which is this gray plastic part. When you fully lower the needle thread lever, this part will embrace the needle. There is a hook in there, which goes through the eye of the needle to catch the thread. You cannot see very well here, but I will have close-ups in a bit. Second overview with a thread. First, bring the thread through this metal part. Then, bring it to the upside-down V part right here. Press down the needle thread lever fully so it embraces the needle. Bring the thread through. I like to bring it all the way down, then back up, so the hook catches the thread for sure. The last part is where I will explain in detail in a bit. Needle threader mechanics. Let's get a close up of the needle threader. This is probably the most exciting part. Here's the needle. Here's the needle eye. Here's the needle threader. These four pieces embrace the needle. And then, watch this, there is a hook right between them. And this hook will go through the eye of the needle to catch the thread to bring it back. See, this is the hook. Now we know how the needle threader works, we are going to look at some common problems. Mistake number one, going over the hook. The hook is somewhere around the middle area. If my thread goes over it, the hook is not going to catch it. Mistake number two, going under the hook. If I go under the hook without bringing it up, the hook is not going to catch it either. So the best way is to go under the hook and push the thread till it hits the needle, then bring it up. This way, you are pretty much guaranteed that the hook will catch the thread. Once you start to release the needle thread lever, make sure to light up your grip on the thread a bit so the hook can pull on the thread. Let's rewind the last part. Bring the thread under the hook. Push it back till it hits the needle, then 
bring the thread up to ensure that the hook catches the thread. Loose your grip a bit as you start to release the needle threader lever. Ta-da! There you have it! I hope this guide has been helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know. Happy sewing! Bye!